Cristiano Ronaldo, the greatest footballer in the history of the beautiful game alongside Messi. Now, Ronaldo is the most successful footballer, but it was not always this way. It all started in Funchal, Madeira on February 5, 1985. Cristiano's mum did not even want him to be born, but in the end, Ronaldo was there. In 1992, Ronaldo joined Andorinha Football Club, where his father was the kit man. In 1995, Ronaldo joined national age 10 years old. In 1997, Ronaldo goes on a three-day trial at Sporting Lisbon. He impresses and ends up signing for €1,700. Euros. Ronaldo moves from Madeira to Lisbon for his football. In the year 2000, aged just 15, Ronaldo was diagnosed with tachycardia and had to do heart surgery. If the heart surgery did not go well, Ronaldo would have had to quit football as it put his heart at risk. Luckily, the surgery went well and Ronaldo could continue playing the beautiful game. In 2001, Ronaldo does his first interview and goes on TV for the first time. The interview was recorded in September 2001 and had Ronaldo talk about the way he lives and how things are going. On the 14th of August 2002, Ronaldo does his first professional debut against Inter Milan. He came off the bench in the 58th minute and impressed. He played well and showed no lack of confidence. He went at Inter Milan defenders with everything he had. Almost exactly one year later, on the 6th of August 2003, Sporting Lisbon played Manchester United. Sporting Lisbon won 3 1, but the attention was all on one man. Fergie was in awe of an 18 year old flashy winger who went by the name of Ronaldo. On the way back to Manchester, Sir Alex's players convinced him that signing Ronaldo was the right thing to do. The only reason Ronaldo was chosen by Fergie was because Beckham left and Ronaldinho had chosen PSG over United. About a week later on August 12th, Ronaldo is a red devil at Old Trafford and this concludes my video. Please like and subscribe.